And he has four seasons. He has four seasons where the man averaged a triple dub. Four seasons where he averaged a triple double. Whether you want to say stat patent, whether you want to say, oh, he didn't really earn those to still average a triple dub four times. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is another episode of the Benchmark ENT podcast, the best sports podcast in New Jersey. Today, we're breaking down the players that have worn zero, number zero in the NBA, our top five list of players that have worn the number zero. Now, for those that did not see double zero, watch it right there. Go check it out. Not a long video, real short. But the criteria that I'm going with is they just have to have worn that number for five seasons. If they wore it for one season, a couple of games, two seasons, they did not make this list. Now, it gets harder as I go up in the numbers because these are more popular. Double zero was pretty easy a little bit because it was only 59 players that have worn double zero. When we look at the oh. number is zero, 149 players. Yeah, it's a little bit, that's a little bit more. This list was a little hard for me. I'm going to come in, number five, none other than Hibachi, Hibachi Gill, Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas. At his peak, three seasons, he averaged 25. Gill was a bucket. Injuries and off-court stuff stopped it from the career that he possibly could have had. And he probably ends up higher in my list if he played longer at his peak. And the injuries did not happen. One of my favorite players of all time, Gilbert Arenas. Coming in at number four, none other than Kevin Love, K. Love. Another player that I feel like at his peak, unstoppable. He did the right thing. I think in most people's eyes and in my eyes, he decided to go try to win. If he stayed in Minnesota, Kevin Love staying in Minnesota, the 2020 games, 20 and 15, it was every night. I don't know who was doing FanDuel back then or betting. Wherever you had to put your money in, Kevin Love, you could you could book it. 20 points, 15 boards every single game. Five-time All-Star while he was with Minnesota. Two-time All-NBA. Obviously, you know, he won that chip when he went to Cleveland. He's now in Miami playing good ball still at that age. He has career highs of 51 points and 31 rebounds. As career highs like I said if he stayed in Minnesota he would have broke so so many records coming at number three the most recent NBA champ what's up champ what's up champ Jason Tatum coming in at number three all-time of players that have worn zero we already know his body of work five-time all-star recent champ as I just said four-time all-NBA Definitely on that top list. And by the time it's all said and done at this trajectory, and if he keeps going at this rate, we'll probably see him as the best player to ever had put on that number zero. Coming in at number two, none other than Damian Lillard. Now, this might be a little controversial because this is where it gets a little, a little dicey. It depends on how you view these two players. Eight-time All-Star, seven-time All-NBA. Rookie of the year, 2012-2013, career high of 71 points per, 71 point game. 71 point game by Damian Lillard. Different. And at number one, this is, like I said, it could get a little dicey. Y'all let me know in the comments. It, if tone is off, hey, I, I got no disagreement if y'all want to switch these two from one and two. But I got Russ. At his peak, Russ, I think, had a higher peak than Damian Lillard. Russ did more winning than Damian Lillard. You would say that hey, it was based off the team that he was with and he was better suited to have team success. But give me Russ, nine-time All-Star, two-time scoring champ, nine-time All-NBA, the 2016-17 MVP. And he has four seasons. He has four seasons with a man averaged a triple dub. Four seasons where he averaged a triple double. Whether you want to say stat patent, whether you want to say, oh, he didn't really earn those to still average 
I tripled up four times. I got Russ as my number one player to have worn number zero. Now, you might say Dame is better overall. He has more talent, more skill, obviously the better shooter. But I'm just looking at the body of work and what he's done in that, that zero. I'm going to have to give it to Russ. Now, I might revisit this, you know. The Bucks somehow win a championship in the next two, three years, then I we might have to have a discussion because Russ, I don't see Russ getting a ring. Honorable mention of these players that have worn zero. Jeff Teague, Dante DiVincenzo, Aaron Brooks, and Avery Bradley. Those are my honorable mention for players that have wore the number zero. Make sure you subscribe, share, comment. Let me know who I left off this list. What did I get wrong? I don't mind having a conversation. Let me know where I got it wrong at or where I got it right at. Share this, please. Hit that subscribe button. Bench my BNT. You already know the vibes. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready.